I'm going to show you how to change your life through real estate investing. But this ain't going to be one of those fluff pieces, okay? This is going to be real actionable advice with real life examples, real life properties. Elvis, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and folks, this is a show where we work together one on one to help you guys start, build, or grow your real estate portfolios, right? Really work through the process of becoming uh, wealthy real estate investors with you, right? And uh, you don't have to be wealthy to, to start things off, right? Like, uh, you know, I get the feedback, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen like negative comments uh, on my YouTube or like, you know, I was on the Netflix uh, show, uh, with Hassan Minaj, whatever the fuck that was called, like Patriot Act or something like that, right? And, you know, people get this impression like, oh, you're just a prick landlord, you're just some rich asshole, silver spoon in your mouth type bullshit, right? You know, people think that way about uh, their landlords, right? Everybody thinks that landlords are just these entitled rich assholes, right? And, uh, you know, that, that, that reality couldn't be further from the truth, number one. Number two, uh, myself specifically, I, I damn sure... I uh, didn't grow up rich. As a matter of fact, uh, Elvis, you are a blue-collar guy. That's why I like working with you. I love blue-collar guys. And there ain't nothing more blue-collar than this, right? This property right here, 4616 B. Cyrus Avenue, Cleveland, 44109. Been on the market five days. It's a duplex listed at 99.9. I used to live on this street, right? So y'all want to talk about blue-collar, right? You're a blue-collar guy. I'm a blue-collar guy. You're working in the electrical trades. You came to me because I have the ability uh, to lay out the groundwork, lay out the path work to help you elevate yourself financially. And anybody that doesn't believe me, I mean, it don't get more blue collar uh, than the fact that the rental property, the C grade rental property is literally on a street where myself and my brother grew up, right? I, I lived on this street till I was about 12 years old, okay? So not only do I talk to walk people did I say that right? Not only do I, did I say talk the walk? I'm not sure what I said, but what I meant to say is not only do I talk the talk, I actually walk the walk, right? And here's some actual real life proof, right? But enough about me. Let's talk about you and what this property can do for you, right? Because you stack deals like this together, you're not going to get rich overnight, right? You're still going to be working in the electrical trades tomorrow. You're still going to be working in the electrical trades six months from now. You're still probably going to be working in the electrical trades five years from now, right? But you stack these kind of deals together over the course of your career, you're definitely going to change your life. Real estate has absolutely changed mine, right? So let's talk about the property. Listed at $99.9, what we have here is two units, both units have tenants in there. We're getting seven fifty from one, seven from the other. So fourteen fifty in rent. Seven fifty is market rent. Uh, we have like probably a good handful of properties on the street actually, and we have hundreds in this old Brooklyn neighborhood. So seven fifty is absolutely the market rent for these. You know, as far as the other tenant only paying seven, you know, maybe they've been in there a little bit longer, right? Of the 1450 that comes in every month, I anticipate approximately 781 going out the door. You gotta, you gotta pay to play, right? It costs money to manage these rental properties, right? So we got, you know, property management, lawn care, water, sewer, vacancy, things of that nature, right? And here's the thing. We have limited information on this particular property. So like capital expenditures, I have $72 a month being budgeted for that, $864 a year. I can't tell you exactly when you're going to have to put in money for your capital expenditures. What I am anticipating right now is going to be the bigger ticket items are going to be mid to end of life. I don't think that they're brand new, and I built that into the offering price we're going to make. Uh, so, like, let me break that down for you so you have an idea of where we stand, right? Roof. $7,000 roof on a property like this, okay? This is just a big old classic 
old Brooklyn duplex. Like, like we got literally hundreds of these suckers in our portfolio, right? I believe the roof is probably somewhere in the mid-range of its life. They last about 30 years, and they cost about 7 Gs. This house also going to come with two furnaces. I would anticipate them being in the mid towards the end of their life. They last approximately 30 years. They cost 3 grand a piece to replace. And then hot water tanks are another big ticket item that we have limited information on. Those last about 15 years, and they only cost about $1,000 to replace. So you're saving up for your capital expenditures, right? We're pocketing 864 a year for the anticipated costs of these items. In addition, we're also going to be pocketing money uh, for assuming eventually our tenants will move out, so we'll be missing rent, and also we'll have to do turnover. So that's another 864 Now, these units, they're all the same, right? The very simple units. We got a kitchen in the back, a dining room in the middle, a living room up front. On the other side, we got uh, two bedrooms with a bathroom in the middle, okay? Now, what we want to do with these uh, particular units, what we want to present to the tenants at turnovers is a very simple product. Hardwood floors throughout. All these duplexes were built with nice original hardwood floors. So uh, if there's carpet, we would want to pull that in between tenants so your, your future turnovers are lower. We would just refinish those hardwoods. Hit all the walls with an agreeable gray that is statistically the most popular interior color in the United States, right? We don't choose agreeable gray because Jay Wise likes it or something, right? That would be stupid, right? When we renovate rental properties, we need to renovate rental properties based upon what the market wants, right? So we listen to the market. Maybe like six years ago, we were using like more creams, right? But then agreeable gray became the most popular color so we switched and until another color comes up uh that's the color we're going to use like if one day baby blue or freaking turquoise is the number one color we'll do we're going to be renovating these painting all the shit turquoise but until that day we're going to be using agreeable gray okay uh so we're going to do that and then if the countertops uh and, and the the the, the 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 fixtures in the kitchen are anything like outdated like more than 10 years old or something we'd want to upgrade those uh but with the fact that we're getting two tenants paying market rent i'm sure the kitchens and the baths are probably in pretty decent shape but just know those are the types of things you're going to be doing uh at subsequent turnovers but for now dude this thing makes hella money so because of all those things, I think we got to come in close to the list price. I don't necessarily know if we have to pay list, but I know there's going to be a lot of investors trying to buy this thing just because the rental amounts you know, are so high, right? So I think at 95000 would be a great price to take this thing down at. If we could pick it up at ninety five, it it'd be an 8.5 cap, and then I think the smartest thing to do would be to finance the whole asset, of course. So you only need to put down $23,750. we will get the bank to loan you the other seventy. That would make it an 18 point six percent return on your money and i know elvis you told me you got a hundred grand right you got a hundred grand to work with well let's not use your whole hundred grand right let's stretch that as far as we can you're a blue collar guy i wouldn't want to see you spend your hundred thousand dollars and acquire one hundred thousand dollars worth of rental property instead i'd like to see you do four deals like this i want you to take that hundred thousand dollars and pick up four hundred thousand dollars worth of rental property right essentially quadrupling your money that's how you can go from a blue collar guy to an incredibly wealthy real estate investor over the course of time when you take your money and you quadruple it right this this is the type of stuff that has changed my life and i'd love to help you have it do the same for you and your family so i think this is a solid deal just a solid blue class blue collar deal c-class property we have so many of these in the portfolio. Uh, what we'd want to do is uh, have you reply to this private email. We'll write up the offer. We'll make it contingent on inspection. And the cool thing is you're financing too, so it's also going to be contingent on appraisal because you're still investing out of state, right? Obviously, you've probably watched a lot of my shows, and I'm the number one landlord in the, in the Cleveland area, right? Nobody manages more of this stuff than Holton Wise, right? So you guys are obviously familiar with Holton Wise. You guys are familiar with what we do. We've got hundreds of hours of content out there on, uh, on Holton Wise TV, but you shouldn't take all of that stuff and just – blindly trust me okay like i don't want to see you do that right that people did that with clayton morris because he was on fox news for years and you guys seen how all that turned out and if for some reason you're like one of the people in the real estate industry that is not familiar with what happened with clayton morris and morris invest in all those lawsuits uh in the show notes below i, I got some content we put out there I, I mean i actually went to battle with clayton morris and uh, i beat his ass and uh 
I don't know, I think it was like a $7.8 million lawsuit or 9.2 or something. I don't know, it was like somewhere in the 7 to $9 million range. I beat his ass in a, in a lawsuit. That's how much of a prick that son of a bitch is, right? So if you haven't heard of that, that, that content's in the show notes below. But the moral of the story is no matter how trustworthy uh, the person talking to you sounds, you should always verify, right? And you should look for safety nets to make sure you don't get ripped off. So with this particular property, we're going to do two for you, right? Number one, the third-party home inspector. We're going to send this guy in there. If my assumptions on what I believe we're dealing with are wrong, if he says the roof is going to cave in tomorrow, that's going to adjust the price we should be paying for this property. If he says both the furnaces no longer work, that's going to make, you know, need us to make adjustments. We're going to have to go back to the sellers, try to adjust that. And then as far as the price point, I'm telling you, yo, this is a solid price. This is the right price. We've got to come in close to this list price. Well, the bank is going to be there to verify that for you, right, brother? Because you, I'm only hoping you're going to put down 23k into this deal. The bank's going to put 71,000 of their money into the deal, right? So they got three times more money into the deal than you do, right? So, or, or four times, right? So who actually has more at risk? In this deal, you were the bank, right? The bank, right? So they're not going to just take my word for it. They're going to send in a, a third-party appraiser. So you have checks and balances here to keep me honest, which you should always do, guys. And, you know, if you're just watching this and you're thinking about investing in another market with another vendor, take this information uh, to whomever you're buying properties from, guys, whether it's me, the guy down the street, or anybody. If you go in and you buy these properties and you get third-party home inspections, you get bank appraisals, it is very, very unlikely that you will end up totally screwed, right? Because at the end of the day, more millionaires are made in the United States through real estate than any other industry, right? So, Elvis, brother, let me know what you want to do if you want to move forward with this deal. Let us know. We'll write up that offer, do all that stuff. If for some reason this deal isn't what you're looking for, just give me the feedback as to why, and I will make the necessary adjustments on your next video. Folks, if you like what I'm doing, you like what I'm presenting, you like the pure honesty and the pure transparency, you like the, 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 the level of trust and, and lack of fluff, you want to work with my team, you can go ahead, send us an email, sales at holdenwise.com, include your phone number, we'll give you a call, we'll talk to you about how to get started and answer any questions you still may have, or if you're a brand new viewer, you're not ready to do that just yet, at least do yourself the solid and smash that subscribe button, because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.